Ladies and gentlemen, the Critics Hub. Let us now talk about Sengoku Yoko, episode 14. Dama nga, tuloy-tuloy na. Tuloy-tuloy ang anime na to, pero White Box decided to make a split course series. So, let's get into the deep dive now. Praise! It had a chill pacing nung first third. Right? Do I have complaints, guys? Wala. Dahil, from from the around the second third, naging tense na ang pacing. Then, Uh, after Matt feels in the final, in the final third. So, uh, you can say na, uh, what you call this? Pacing fit for a pilot. Nonetheless, uh, it pulls up to speed, right? Kasi, kung, uh, kung tense all throughout the episode ito, Eh, hindi natin ma-appreciate yung uh, yung kinahinatnan ng main protag after uh, after that really intense um, uh, that intense episode wherein talaga nag wow! Right? Uh, I tell you guys uh, I still haven't gotten over uh, how tense that episode was talagang uh, literal na kinabuga ko uh, through the pacing it picked up where Somehow, uh, uh, this episode picked up where it left off. Talagang, uh, parang hindi nawala ang Sengoku Yoko. Flo naman! First gear ship oh, was when Senya gets kidnapped by Akatawara. Well, uh, no-brainer there. Kasi, uh, kung hindi nangyari ito, uh, hindi ma mahala ni Senya kung gano'n siya ka-OP na fighter. And we wouldn't get him to, uh, to to use his finishing move on this um on this fused demon. This uh, is the gear shift that uh, you could say triggered um, triggered the arc, or or even triggered this episode at least. Second gear shift and the final one uh, was when um, uh, arguably another no-brainer. Senya. Uh, engages the the village intruder. Uh, she, he just stepped up to the plate and uh, started fighting this um uh, this uh, this mad god uh, as his um as the voices in his head are calling it. So uh, it, it was a really profound gear shift. Because um, uh, right after uh, while he was engaging this intruder, na patay niya yung tabi ng isang kaibigan niya. It's called a gear shift, right? This gear shift, well, just just told us where his conscience lies right now. Because, uh, talagang uh, talagang nako nako conscious eh. He still has that human side to him eh. May may, con- may conscience siya, right? He, he still uh, he still has uh, he is still sane enough to have a guilty conscience, right? Which is good. Pero guys, will it be enough for you to, to to totally appreciate the return of Sengoku Yoko? Nope. Eh, kasi kung uh, itong, itong dalawang ilang ito, papanoorin nyo, eh. Uh, go on art gallery eh, if you wanna get bored. Eh, because you're gonna miss out on the, um, you're gonna miss out on the action sequences, which... Uh, which which this anime is now known for. You will not totally get the episode kung itong dalawang gears lang mapapanoorin nyo talaga. Alright. Watch it from start to finish. After all, um, uh, the anime has made its return official by, uh, by airing episode 14. So you might as well watch it from start to finish para uh, mag-gets nyo na kung paano tatakbo ang Ang, ang second run, ang second core na to. Alright? Plot wise. <clears throat> uh, yung pagkakabagsak ni Senya, uh, from that, um, from that, from that fight, 
Eh, hindi ko masasabing backstory eh. I would treat it more as an explainer. Kasi, eh, hindi ba pinakita ko sa sa talaga lumanding eh. During the finale. So, this explains it. Therefore, malinis ang blood, guys! Bottom line, guys, uh, I would not call that sequence uh, a backstory. Eh, kasi hindi ba pinakita yun sa finale ng... Uh, hindi ba pinakita ng episode 13 yun eh. Uh, that particular sequence? Nope! Dito lang, uh, uh, first time pinakita yun dito. So, that now serves as a pure explainer. Uh, on how, uh, basically on how, uh, on how Senya ended up there. Alright? So, superbly clean plot, guys. And, um, well, you can only, um, you can only mark the return of, a uh, of an anime this great. Uh, with a, with a, with a, with a, with a, with a plot as clean as this. Okay? So, pace, flow, and plot all came together, and yup, it is now official, guys. Sengoku Yoko is back.